Hey everyone, so I'm coming to you from a planner stack. Look at this, okay? When I first started planning, I was in an A5 Recollections, and then I decided, oh, I'm running out of room, I need a social media. So I had another kind of A5, um, it was kind of wide, probably A5 wide um, rings as well. Um, horizontal and I was using that for social media and that's pretty much all I needed at work but I really couldn't take them with me I would take the recollections but it was just so big bulky heavy whatever so I wanted to do happy planner I said well you know I want to be able to do happy planner so that I can do some happy planner spreads for those who have happy planners but then I kind of fell in love with it so I'm gonna start from the smallest down to the largest so here is my final facts. Let me slide this over. This is my final facts. I hope I have enough time. But this is my final facts. And this is just a quick flip through. And I think a flip through is either on my IG. But I can go into more detail. I really haven't finished setting it up. And I mainly use it for order tracking. So I've just been tracking my orders. And I actually got to put down... A order that's been shipped and when they came in so I mainly use this for order tracking this stays on my desk so when an order comes in I just check it off I was carrying it with me but I just didn't um, use it as much so and I got this from the thrift store only paid three dollars for it so a final effects um, vintage leather love it so I'm gonna you know eventually kind of use it then here is my happy planner mini um, this has been a little bit of everything because I wanted to use the mini. I wanted it to kind of be carrying with me and stuff like that. So it's lastly was my social media. And then as of, <clears throat> excuse me, today, it is my on the go. Um, so it's just going to be something for me to kind of take with me on the go. When maybe I run out of room in my B6, I can just kind of check the top three things that I have. If I need to make notes of anything, I can. And I can also have sticky notes with me. Next up is my favorite, um, which is my B6. My B6 is my everyday carry. Um, in here, I've done a flip through on my channel of this. I'll try to remember to leave the link in the description box or either put a card up top. But this is a quick flip through. And this is where I do my everyday planning. Um, things that I need to do every day. This goes with me in my purse in a planner pouch and I also have my wellness in here because I wanted her thick and I had the room for it so this is wellness as well and then I have also in here I track supposedly my daily sales which I have not started and um, and those were just to cut down on planners and also my budget a little bit, a budget kind of on the go so I can just have a quick overview of what's due. So that's that. But by far, this is my favorite, my B6. And then I have the Fobonichi. The Fobonichi is my social media. It's been social media since I started it. I've only been doing it, was this, the third week? And I have a little surprise spread here because I jumped and did a week early. So that won't be out until next week. So this is it. And let me see if I can show you guys without showing you that surprise thread. Spread, excuse me. So that was last week. And actually I have it on my, and then these are um, ideas that I have for, um, videos and I still need to finish setting it up and this is a page I added and I added it on my Instagram so yeah um, and then in the back I have notes and I just still haven't put the tabs in and I have my weekly meal plan actually got to do another one of those 
And so, like, if I'm watching something or, like, I watched a video on about, you know, doing your channel, um, batching and stuff like that. So, I took some notes. So, I have that there. So, that's the Fobonichi. And then I have my catch-all. Um, this is a Happy Planner catch-all. Well, it's my catch-all. I like it in vertical. So this is me, and I have, I kind of pre-plan in this one as well. So I use sticky notes and just write things down. And this was the first week of May that I didn't plan, so I kind of back-planned and did that. And then this is the second. And I'm going to do a May flip-through once we finish out May. So I got probably one more week. And this is the current week. So this is kind of like my catch-all. And then in the back here, I have the home extension pack, which I just kind of popped in. And then these are chores, which I haven't used yet. Um, meal plans, budget. And I have really a space for my budget. But this is, again, my catch-all. So that's that. And I was going to change the cover out and use this cover from the wrong wrong, but I decided not to change it because I do love green. Let me zoom out just a little bit. And then my last planner is my faith planner. I just started doing faith planning and I had this happy note. So this is, I did put this folder in. So I, I have to finish setting this up as well. And um, I did that. And so I'm on day one of my faith planning, and this is just a carryover. So it's a half notes, and it's a carryover from my um, notes about my faith planning. And today was uh, Monday the 20th, Philippians uh, 3, 1 through 4, and that was really good. And it was a, it was a blessing. I, I don't know what took me so long to do the faith planning. I don't know. So I just started this, and I love it because it's... It's helpful because sometimes we get disconnected from our spirituality, no matter what religion you are or what have you. And so there's nothing else, but I'm going to maybe finish setting it up, but I don't need this to be too, too fancy for me. I just want to be able to write the Word of God in it and be done. So that's it. So I presently have one, two, three, four five six planners i'm shamed i'm just shamed i'm really am shamed and I'm, I'm really considering getting some more i'm telling you and i don't know what for i just want to i've been saying i want to find planner peace but i'm gonna be honest and i know this is going to be a shocker because i've been talking about um finding planner peace but with these so far i think that i found planner peace with all six of these um planners but um, I do, by the end of the year, I want to kind of have it narrowed down. I don't want six planners by the end of the year, and I just may need them. I'm considering a memory planner, but um, that is that, and that is my planner lineup and the use of each one. And like I said, this is my favorite because technically I can put everything in here, and I considered an A5, but here I can still do plan my videos, I can plan my meals, I can plan my budget, all of that in this B6. So, I don't know, maybe by the end of the year, I, oh, and I do wellness. Did I say that? I do wellness. Yeah, wellness in here. So, um, and I like that I can change this up with paper um, and just make it my own that I can still decorate, you know, the blank pages. So, it's almost like a happy planner, kind of, not really because it's not on disc, but and I love vertical, and I, I did pick that up, <clears throat> excuse me, on the search to find Plan of Peace. I did pick up that I'm a vertical girl, that I like vertical, and one of the reasons I like vertical is because I like making lists. I like to just see things go this way. Um, sometimes when it go that way, it looks like it's more. I don't know what that is, but I do like um, vertical. But I do like horizontal for um, my faith writing and for my um on the go let me find that yeah and i did like this and what i like about the on the go is that i can just put three things i don't have to list a whole bunch of stuff and it kind of keeps me with um compartmentalizing um smaller things and not overdoing it because i do have extreme behavior and i'll overdo things all the time hence why i have a bunch of junk that i don't need 
but I like that because I can just say to myself you only get three things or four things to do for the day so I think I'm gonna like that and this was a transformer and I really think I'm going to untransform it right now so I think I'm just gonna do that I'm gonna untransform it I already got a pocket there and a pocket there and I have a pocket here Put a double pocket there, so I've untransformed it. So now it's not too too bulky, and I'm gonna just kind of strip strip it down a little bit and take some of this stuff out. But um, I think it's good to have these things back here in it. So that's what I like about the Happy Planner. You can just do so much with it. So. I could put stickers in here. I mean, just all kinds of stuff. Um, I like the Fobonichi. I'm still getting used to it. And what I like about the Fobonichi is that it's long. So I can, and I can change the layout of this. I wanted to try to lay out that everybody was doing. I like it, but I found that I just didn't have a lot, lot of room. Um, so I do know, and that's what's behind here, will be bigger. I'll be doing bigger uh, boxes. Um, and it's switching up the layout. I can just switch the layout up in this, and I like that, you know. And I have plenty of room for notes and all that other extra stuff that I need to do. And I mentioned my favorites about that. I mentioned my favorites. I mentioned my favorites. And then here with the Faith Journal, like I said, I'm not doing anything really spectacular in here. I just want to be able to reference and write a note. And then when I do decide to go to church, I can stick note paper in and then do all these half notes and then put in sermon notes and just have something to reflect back on. Because um, as you see in my Bible, um, like see they have this here and I don't write on that. And then um, you lose your sermon notes sometimes when you just write them on paper and stick them in there and I'm I'm not the one to um, like highlight really necessarily um, my um, Bible so it's good to have this planner here uh, just for that just to make sermon notes my daily and this keeps me into even though I meditate and pray um, every morning I get sidetracked I <laughs> y'all listen <laughs> I, I take my dog out in the morning, I sit on my deck, I drink my coffee, I talk to God, I meditate, but then I'll get sidetracked. Like, let's say my daughter crossed my mind. Oh, I wonder if she had a good night. Hold on. Let me see if she posted anything online. I'm sidetracked. Or I'll be like, oh, yesterday was a good day. Um, I had a good spread. Let me look on. And I'll get distracted by my phone. But when I'm face planning, like I said, it's only been one day, but I realized it gave me at least 30 minutes with God. And that's something, you know, just continuous where I didn't get sidetracked or anything. And then my catch-all, um, what I like about my catch-all is if I run out of room in any way else, I can put everything here and this allows me to pre-plan. I really like that I'm able to pre-plan in this. Now I could pre-plan in my B6 but it's a little smaller. Here I have more room and I like the amount of space that I get. So if I wanted to and I didn't want to use any of my other planners for the week, I could just plan in here and use it. I really like this spread you guys. I kind of want to go back and add some stuff. <laughs> But see, like this week was so busy and I had to carry stuff over. So I like that. And I also got one of the 18 month planners. Let me see. So I have this planner too, I forgot about. So I don't know what I'm going to do with this one. I have it, but I just don't know yet how I'm going to use it or incorporate it. But isn't it pretty? So I don't know. I'm just going to, I was just going to switch automatically over to it or possibly just use the pages. So, or, and then I thought about giving it away. I have not done anything in it. Um, I'm thinking about doing it in a giveaway or either give it to my daughter. Um, at first my sister was like, I don't want to do no planners and stickers. That's kid stuff. And then, so I showed her my B6 and she was like, I want a planner. I want a planner. So then I thought about giving it to her, but my daughter needs the student one. So when she comes home, we're going to go shopping for a student one. Oh, I did. I did add this stuff to it. So, so I don't know. I just think I might cross plan. 
You guys, I had to come back. I totally forgot about my Erin Condren budget book, okay? I totally forgot. Like, so that's seven planners. So we're in May now, and I was coming in here to write in my um, income because I've stopped um, showing my budget online, so that's the reason why I probably forgot. But I did a video on my June sticker uh, kit, and this is my June layout. I you know, went on and added some other stuff because normally it just says bills and that's it. But I wanted to add a little, you know, pop to it. Um, and I love this book here because it's great for budget keeping. And I think I want the life planner to do memory planning. But um, I didn't show this kit because I didn't, I didn't, when I filmed the video, I just wasn't pleased with me because I was just um, like rambling about how I didn't do it for me, I did it for others, and blah, 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 blah. so anyway, I may show it, I may not, but this is my June kit, and I just really need to kind of go back in and fix some things, but um, I'll be showing my July kit when I decide to do a July kit. I'll show that, and I'm actually going to make some kits for my um, B6. But this is also, so I wanted to say that, that I do have the Erin Condren um, Deluxe Planner. And if you're interested in an Erin Condren or any of the Erin Condren um, planners, I do have a link below. You get $10 off your first um, order. And I will see you guys in my next video. <laughs> Bye.